sneak up on you. <laughs> I mean, talk to me about this experience. What's this mean to you? Uh, it's awesome. I can't complain. Like, I just won. I came out here, I did what I needed to do, and I won. Yeah. Awesome. What, what was like the preparation like and you know coming into the meeting, how do you feel about every day? I felt great, you know, I had some great practices, lead, practices leading up to this moment. Coach told me you're in good shape. Coming out yesterday in the semifinals, you know, I felt like I could have won that one. And I said if I'm that close to you guys in the semifinals, if I come today and put together a complete race, I know I could win and that's what I did. And just black, green, and gold, Jamaica on your chest. You've been here so many times again. Gold 2015, gold 2023. What's it mean to have that on your chest represent? Oh, Jamaica, Jamaica land I love. I mean, this is my birth country. This is a proud nation and we love winners. And so you never want to come out here and lose because... <laughs> Gonna kill you online. <laughs> so <laughs> Jamaican Twitter is definitely a little ruthless. Yeah, it's, a, it's brutal. So they only want gold medals, and so you know, I knew I had coming out here. I had to give them a gold, or I couldn't go back home. <laughs> so let's talk about giving gold medals. So you saw what happened after your race, right? Yeah. Uh huh. Two gold medals back to back for your country. So somebody got to be happy, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we on top of the world. We on top. So talk to me about at what point in the race did you know that that gold medal was yours? At the finish, well, no point in the race. To be honest. <laughs> I mean, I was out there and all the way in lane two in my own island. I crossed the finish line. I didn't know, even know where I was in terms of everybody else. And then you know, Toby came over me and she said, "Congrats!" Before the results, he came up and said, "Toby, don't tell me this until the results come up." And so you know, came up and I was like, "Wow, dang, y'all let me win." So how do you feel like you winning and Antonio winning is going to give Jamaica even more momentum moving into the championship? I definitely think the vibes are definitely up right now in the camp. I mean, after the hundreds, you know, we're all like, oh, gosh. But now we're, we're ready to go for the rest of the championship. I just want you to know, like, when it officially came up, like, the entire, I don't know, but like the entire stadium just went crazy because the thing with the championships, anytime there's a Hungarian on the track, uh, yeah. stadium goes wild. You would have thought it was a Hungarian that won with how loud the stadium got. So. Maybe I got a little Hungarian in me. Oh, who knows? <laughs> who knows? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so what's one thing that you want to tell your fans back home? Thank you for all the support all the years. I know I haven't really been, you know, up there. I've been a little inconsistent there, but you guys have never wavered. Even when I was down, you were down with me. I'm up, you're up with me. And so, appreciate y'all. Nice job. Thank you.